Afternoon, church. Um, today's sermon's about Crawford, um, well, Christian education. I began to go to Crawford three months after school started in, when I was in JK. The difference between Crawford and a uh, public school is Crawford teaches you about God and the public school doesn't. Um, in other words, you learn how God is, how powerful his ministries are, how he, how, how blessed we have, we, how blessed he is and how strong and how, how strong he is. In other words, he, without him, our lives probably wouldn't be the same. Like, in other words, maybe without God, Pastor Gosso maybe wouldn't have his, how he is and how he is a pastor. <laughs> um, maybe without his ministries, all of us would have been different. Our lives, how we grew up. Um, I've been at Crawford all my life, and Crawford's like my second family. To me, Crawford is a place that I can go and just be myself. Enjoy, be, enjoy doing what I love and being around the people that I like being around. Crawford is a place that it's, yes, it's a school, but it, it's also a place that teaches you about God and how he works and what he does. Um, throughout my life, God has done stuff that I can't even explain. Crawford has done so much for me, has been such a big impact in my life. I think without Crawford, I wouldn't be here today. To me, Crawford means a lot. Crawford is a place for me to go and just do whatever I want, just be myself, learn more about God and what he has to serve and what he has to do for us. Um, probably if I didn't know God and if I didn't know the people that I know today, I think I would have been in a different situation, maybe in the streets, maybe in a gang. I don't know, but by God's help, I am here today preaching in front of you. Um, there's a lot of great things about Crawford, not just because they teach you about God, it's the teachers too. Like my teacher right now, Miss Marshall, she is a great teacher. Through, throughout all the years that I've gone through, throughout all the classes that I've been through, each teacher teaches you something different. Something, about, something different about God. They teach you how to cope through life. It's not just a place where you go learn like subjects like science, math, etc. It's a place to go and rejoice. A place to a place to go and praise God. And by the, I think it is called the Sunday Law that every, it's been going around how maybe in the future we won't be able to praise God in public. Right now is the time to spread the word and to tell people that if you want a good education for your child and you want your child to be closer to God, send your child to a Christian education school. Um, the Sunday Law is gonna have a big impact in the world. Christian education is not gonna be a thing anymore. You're, gonna, you're not gonna be able to worship on Saturday, only Sundays. Um, and I guess that's one of the ways that God's gonna test us through to see if 
we have the faith in him to just say what we have to say to keep people in into Christianity. Crawford is a place to to just talk about God and not fear that anyone's gonna be mad at you or just tell you off because tell you off because a lot of stuff are going around. Crawford is a place where a lot of stuff aren't allowed, like bad words, which is prone in probably every school, but at Crawford, it's, it's kind of, you get suspended, and it's kind of, it makes sense because at a Christian school, you don't want anyone to do anything bad. You just want that child to, to do the best that they can and to stay close to God. Um, before in my life, um, it was hard to believe in God. And before, at a time and in, in place, I didn't think God was alive. It wasn't until probably, I would say, grade four, grade four or five, that my life turned around and I really found what Jesus has his, or what Christ has his purpose in life for me. Um, throughout the time that I didn't believe that God was a, a a real human being or that he even exists. Um, my faith kind of left. I really didn't believe that he was a thing. I just, yeah, I'd go to church, but it was because my family went to church, so I was like, okay, I'll just go to church. But it wasn't because I wanted to go to church. It was because my family wanted me to go to church. Um, because of these two places, Wildow and Crawford, I really found my purpose in life. If it wasn't for this church and that school, I don't know where I'd be in life. It, it, it was, it changed. Um, other schools are just, they, they don't take stuff so seriously. They just teach you and that's about it. But like at Crawford, Teachers become more like parents. Your principal becomes more like a guardian. People, at, the teachers at school, they teach you how to cope with life, how to move on in life, and how to be a better person. That's what I think I'm trying to say. Um, in life, there's gonna be rough times, but I guess you gotta believe in God and you gotta pray because he can help you throughout what's going on. Um, my sister graduated Crawford a few years, a few years ago. It was, it was the greatest time of her life, I would say. Um, and she taught me something about Crawford too. Um, she had a few friends in Crawford and I, I guess I knew them pretty well and I have some great friends too, like Callum, um, Keaton, and I can't see Ethan. Oh, Ethan. <laughs> um, they, they keep me through what has to go on. Yeah. Ethan has been with me since grade, I think it was two? Yeah, grade one. And it's been, it's been fun having Ethan as a great friend. He's been close. Me and him have, I guess, a good, a good friendship. Um, some other people at my school, we have a great friendship. And I guess that's because Crawford brings you together into a family. And I think because Crawford is more like a family to me, I'm closer with everyone in life today. The people that I meet, it, before I used to think that they were just people I knew and because I found out my purpose in life, I kind of have a new, like, a new way to find out who people are. Um, 
I have a new perspective in how I think of life. And because of God, I, I really think that life is amazing now. Um, without Christian education, um, I don't think I would just do what I'm doing right now, be in the place that I am, I guess. Um, and I guess throughout life, there's going to be a lot of stuff that you're going to go through, but if you just talk to God and, and if you just pray to Him, He'll answer you. Um, I guess that it's just Crawford has had a big impact in my life. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's more than I can say, at least. Um, I'll turn it over to Callum. <laughs> Thank you, Joshua. Oh. Thank you, Joshua. Good morning, church. I mean, good afternoon, sorry. Um, this morning, if you were here, I forgot to say a couple things. Uh, I want to thank my family, like my mom. She helped, well, she wrote the whole sermon I have right now. Um, well, thank, thank my sisters, Sage May. She's just been there helping me, like, prepare. And Paige, she helped me prepare, like, I read it to her. Um, thank you for my dad. He helped me. He gave me the confidence I have right now. So, thank you. For as long as I remember, I would hear the adults say in church, a little child shall lead them. So this morning, I want to thank Pastor Godso and his team for giving me, us, and the rest of the children the opportunity to share on the topic of Christian education. Please bow your head, close your eyes for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this good day so far. Uh, please bless me as I preach. Thank you for giving Joshua a good sermon. Please help that the, good, the rest of the day goes well. Please take away all nervousness. In your name, amen. As I was thinking of what I was going to share in this short presentation, I thought, hmm, why not share your own story? So you will hear different parts of my experience throughout this presentation. Three years ago, my mom had this brilliant idea that she was gonna enroll me in a Christian school, Crawford to be exact. I wasn't too excited. And it's not the fact that it's the school, it's just I had to leave my friends and the drama and the fun stuff that we did. Like for example, in the morning, like, I live, like, really close. Like, my house is over here, and the school's right there. So I would walk, and since we had nothing else to do, we would run to Dairy Queen and come back and see who's the slowest of the group. Anyways, um, you see that the band, you see the band that played at my church on more than, more than one occasion, and not only did they look impressive, their performance was amazing. I was going to a new school. In a typical childlike fashion, I was filled with mixed emotions on the first day of school. Smart looking boy, fresh new haircut like now. <laughs> Taking the bus to school. But I have to say that in the days that I followed, I had a difficult time. My old school was so close to my house that I could hear the bell ring in the morning. Now, I have to wake up more than one hour early. I'm gonna repeat it. I had to wake up more than one hour early to get to my new school on time. But as my mom always says, nothing good in life comes easy. What is education? The simplest definition that I found for education was, is acquiring knowledge by learning. But what do, us ki what do us as kids understand by the word education? As kids, when we hear the word education, we think of doing a good job in different subject areas, 
like math, science, English, etc. So that we can get into a good college or university and later get a good job. However, in the book Education, page 13, written by Ellen G. White, she says that, and I quote, true education means more than going through a certain course of study. It means more than preparing for life now. It has to do with the, be the whole being. At, oh, sorry, a way of life. It is the good balanced development of the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. It prepares the student for the joy of service in this world and higher joy to come. Think about that as we talk about Christian education today. Maybe I should have called my presentation Education versus True Education. I have a question for all the students in the room today. How many of you guys have been asked what you want to be when you get older? Raise your hand. It's a good amount. Okay. And you could be asking me right now, where are you going with this question, Callum? There's nothing wrong, but there's nothing wrong with being asked that question or even having a career goal in mind. But so often, even in a Christian household, so much, is important, so much importance is placed on academic achievement that we forgot the importance of the spiritual side of education. Christian education allows students to get closer to God. Now, parents, you are probably saying, well, we teach our children the Bible at home. They go to church. They do their devotion in the morning and the night and we make sure they study their quarterlies. If you're doing these things, that's great. Good job, and by all means, keep doing that. But the truth is, spend more time, the truth is, children spend more time at school than they do at home. Would you not then agree with me that it's much better for them to spend the hours away from, God, from home in a God-fearing environment? Proverbs 22, verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way he or she should go, and when he or she is old, he or she shall not depart from it. Who trains us? Well, my mom and dad do a good job of training me and my sisters at home, but the school is also playing a big part in our training. Christian education makes, the Christ, makes Christ the center of child's education. Each day in our class begins with prayer, singing, testimonies, taking prayer requests, and an inspirational thought. As children, we have differences, but we are encouraged to solve our challenges and settle differences using godly principles, kindness, patience, love, and care. Even when disciplined by our teachers, the conversation about our actions are measured up with what God expects of us. Coming from a public school, I can tell you that being in this kind of environment has been a blessing to me. Given what Sister White told us about true education, it should not be okay to have our children spending so much time in a space just to learn math, English, etc. We should not be we should not only be concerned about what our children learn in the classroom, but we should also con be concerned but be concerned ourselves with what will they learn in their school environment. The public school is not a place that encourages students to talk or think about spiritual things. I'm going to start my next testimony with this statement. Raise your right hand in the air. I am a student, I am a student of this great school. I am also a work in progress. Put your hands down now. My mom has three children. My eldest sister is already attending university. That leaves me and my baby sister. How does a mom of two young children, two young children who, can aff who cannot afford to send them both to a Christian school choose who should go? No easy, deci no easy decision, but I'll tell, you no I'll tell you how. My little sister, Sorry, my little sister loves church. 
She loves everything to do with church. <laughs> Don't jump to any conclusions yet. I love church too, but she loves church. <laughs> she is the first to complete her Pathfinder, Pathfinder requirements. She is so dedicated to her Bible studies that in the first year of, in the Pathfinder Club, she was selected to be on the Bible Bowl team. With that said, you can understand how my mom made her selection, and I think she made the right choice. Parents know best, and my mom knew which child would benefit from the extra boost. Like every parent, my mom wants us to do well in school, but her prayer has always been, Lord, let my children achieve their full potential in this life, but, then, but let them love the things of God more than the things of this world. As I said, I'm a work in progress. I'm still getting there, but in a Christian environment, a Christ, but being in a Christian environment has sure helped to support the Christian values my mom teaches at home. Matthew 6, verse 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all, thing, all these things shall be added unto you. Being at Crawford has not only helped me spiritually, but, acad but my academic performance has also gotten better. Last year, I graduated on the honor roll. Thank you, Ms. Bergenhall and all my teachers, past and present, for your patience. Ms. Bergenhall will not tell you, but I will. I had to complete the entry evaluation in two separate visits. I sat at the exam to, and refused to complete it. I'm very stubborn. Yes, I am. Okay. I told you, I'm a work in progress. It was, not e it was not an easy start, and I'm doing much better now. Christian education has made a big difference in my life. Being in a school, being in a school environment that reminds me of God's expectations of me and being in a space where all my teachers demonstrate the patience of God is a real blessing. It sure does take a village to raise a child, home, and a Christian school. God is faithful. With no job at the time, my mom trusted God and enrolled me at Crawford three years ago. And I'm still here now. Did I already tell you that God is faithful? It's two years now that I have not had to wake up earlier. I am picked up and dropped off thanks to supportive fa school family. Public Public ed education versus Christian education, I think I choose Christian education, and so should you. And before I close, may you please stand. Raise your right or left hand and say, I am a work in progress, but I am going to get there. Thank you.